We are a consumer goods marketplace. We are an evolution of eBay. All we do is connect buyers and sellers who want to buy something. We've become the largest marketplace in the world for sneakers and streetwear. But the reason why is because how we connect buyers and sellers is the exact same way that the world's stock markets connect buyers and sellers. And there's a whole lot to that, but at the core, it's around the concept of true market price. So on StockX, in the same way you buy a share of stock, you're getting the true market price for that product or that asset, and that's what StockX is. This is the StockX Authentication Center, which is actually within the Quicken Loans Data Center. This is either our fifth or sixth different authentication center here in Detroit. The first was one guy at a desk sitting next to me outside of Dan's office. Right. But we're finally at a place where we have 15,000 square foot facility for the authentication process to happen. And we do sneakers, streetwear, and handbags here. And everything that comes in the morning processes out that day. So what kind of qualifications do you have to have to work here? There's many jobs here. The authenticators are sort of the most notable. For any authentication position, I mean, we could theoretically teach anybody to do it. But, you know, usually it's someone that has to really love that product because, you know, an authenticator can see a couple hundred pairs of sure. shoes a day. You know, and so, you know, a lot of times we find people that come out of retail, maybe they worked at Foot Locker, or, you know, or maybe they were reselling on their own. It's usually people that love sneakers. So when I get this, I take it from the rack. The first thing that I want to do is look at the label and I want to inspect the box through a 360 of the box to make sure that it isn't messed up, it doesn't have any rips or holes in it. Once I've done that, take the lid off, I have an invoice in here that gives me most of all the information that I need on here. From there, I will scan it on our little scanner, pop up on our screen what I need, and from there I will take both shoes out. You want to set them up left and right because you want to make sure that you have a left and a right shoe, not two rights, not two lefts. So once I set them side by side, I do my 360 inspection. Once I've done my 360 inspection, I want to go into my right shoe and do a more detailed look into it. What are you looking for? There's a bunch of different things you can look for. You look for stitching, you can look for to make sure that the size of the Nike sign is right. It just varies for different shoes, so it just depends on the shoe. Once I've checked that, I give it a quick whiff. The reason I give it a whiff is because some of these shoes are a lot older and they have them in people's homes, so you just want to make sure that it's not smelling like people's homes or if they're a smoker or if they have pets or anything like that. You want to make sure that it smells like it would be from the factory. Once everything is correct, I grab my authentication tag and I always want to make sure that I tag the left shoe. Once I tag the shoe, I want to place it back in the box factory, wrap it back up like it should be, and then I pass it to my processor. What do you do when something's fake? So if we get a fake shoe, um, typically some customers don't know that their shoes are fake, so what we do is we just send it back to the customer and let them know that their shoes aren't authentic. What's next for StockX? Yeah, so the business grows in three ways. We can continue to sell the same thing to more people. Mm -hmm but also to go to that next customer, into that retail customer. So today, StockX is certainly very well known within the sneakerhead community and, and the sort sure. of traditional resale market, but it's about going to that retail customer. Get that person that bought their last pair of shoes on, on Foot Locker or Nike.com that never would have tried to buy a pair of Jordans on, on eBay three or four years ago. So one, it's that. It's sell the same product to more people. Two is other product categories. We're starting to do this already. And what's happened organically though is you get a lot of these subcategories that then are basically worthy of their own category to get broken out. Collectibles is the fifth category, and then we'll see what those subcategories look like as we get into things like, you know, additions where you have some of these artists that they're not creating toys, but they are creating something that has, you know, there's only 500 of them. Daniel right. Arstrom is an artist that has products that sell similar to cause, where they will sell it immediately and then resell. And then maybe you're in traditional toys as well, like Star Wars and He-Man and G.I. Joe and that sort of thing. So. You run a sneaker empire. Do you still like sneakers? <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes, I, sometimes I think that uh, I'm sick of it. Yeah. And then I end up down like walking through the authentication center, looking at every pair of shoes, and then I'll back, be back on StockX and buy five more pairs. I buy more sneakers today now than I ever did.